Okay, everyone, let's do this for August 16th, 2023. Uh, at post FOMC day, interesting day in the market, a little bit of a sell off, about a half percent across the indexes, but um, some interesting stuff to talk about. So we will get right into that as always. If you would like the screenshots for everything I'm going to post or everything I'm going to talk about, a whole bunch of stuff I'm not going to talk about for kind of brevity of the video, uh, go to statsatrain.com, sign up for the sub stack there. I just send it via email every day. It makes it a lot easier to go through. So, boom. Okay, let's get into it, starting with Bitcoin. And Bitcoin has done nothing today, just like it's done nothing for the last few months. So we're not going to talk about that for very long. Uh, I still look at it every day. Someday Bitcoin's going to move. It'll be interesting again. And until then, it's just good to kind of stay out of it. So um, I'm, actually, let's go to UUP first. So UUP is the dollar index. So for those who don't know, it's just a basket of other currencies versus the dollar. And you can see that kind of, you know, say July 17th to, you know, beginning of August, this has really been kind of moving up. And the dollar and stocks have this kind of inverse type relationship uh, so this may be what we're seeing that's pushing down on stocks. Now we have this breakout that's happening right here in UUP, uh, prior highs right here, prior highs right here, just popping above that now. So, you know, it's important to note for me who trades currencies, anything to note it in the dollar, I'm going to have to trade knowing that the dollar is potentially breaking out of this long base and in just this monster uptrend. And then anything that, uh, you know, from the stock point of view, if the dollar is pushing up, then maybe stocks themselves are going to be weak. Uh, speaking of weak stocks, I'm going to the S&P 500 here. This level right here, this kind of 440 to 443, I've been talking about for a long time. We broke that and we closed below it, but not by much and on not an insane amount of volume. You can see the volume today is even less than the volume yesterday. So a little bit of a decrease in volume on this breakdown. So I want to see some either follow through lower to kind of confirm the fact that I've, I have been selling some securities, taking some profits on those. Um, so I'm waiting for those to kind of waiting for my opportunity to reload. So if we're going to sell off more, I know it's not my opportunity. I continue to build my list of relatively strong stocks. I continue to remove things from the list that aren't holding and add new things in, which is why, again, if you want the list emailed to you that you can just copy and paste in trade ideas, uh, you can go to statsedtrading.com for that and sign up for the Substack. Um, so this kind of pullback that's happening in the overall markets, we need to see kind of what's going to happen tomorrow. So we had FOMC today, I think the market digests that tomorrow. So if we can reclaim this 443 level pretty quickly, then I think it might be off to the races. If not, we may be in for some more ugly thing. Again, I've been kind of pounding the table on we're going to chop around for a while for a long time. I do think we're going to chop around for a long time. It's why you'll see on the list that there's a whole bunch of things that I'm looking at that are pullback type plays as opposed to breakouts. Now, if we go to SLX here, so SLX is the steel ETF. Now, part of the strength of this is going to be all the stuff going on with the United States steel. But even if you look at like STLD, uh, it's looking really strong here as well. So steel actually seems to be a place to go to look for as well. So the dollar, steel, metals, that type of thing look relatively strong. So I only added two to the list today. Um, so again, I if you want everything on the list, you sign up for the email list. It's, I take the screenshot of every single one every day. But for the video, I just go on the new ones that I've added. Um, there, so I removed a whole bunch of stuff as well. So one here is Bro, which is a insurance company. But man, what an insurance company. So these with trade ideas, these are picture and picture charts on the bottom. This thing from 27 to 72, just absolutely rocketing for an insurance agency who knows why, who cares? Uh, breaking out of a little base here, looks like we might want to push higher. So over today's high, I'm going to be interested in this one tomorrow. Uh, again, just really, really strong name with bro. Uh, this is a TI strength name. So you notice I have all these notes uh, next to each and every one, which again, you get if you if you copy and paste them in. Uh, AVWAP play with CME. Uh, 
nice gap up here, a little bit after earnings, and then is holding the anchored view app from before that gap really, really closely. So if we can get going over like 2728, I'm interested in that one. And then last but not least, we have DAL or Delta Airlines. Uh, major, major bottom, you can see right here for Delta Airlines, big push down, and then we kind of held there and we started moving higher. Uh, let me draw that correctly uh, in through here. That work? Don't know why. Oh, that so that's pulling back to basically it's pulling back to an AV wap there, but it's also pulling back to this uh, congestion that's going on in this area right there. So looking to see if we can get a little bounce out of DAL. Let me have this. Let me have it draw it for me like that. Beauty, we have an Anchor View app product within Trade Ideas that you can actually just click on the chart. There you go. Drew it from this one. That makes a lot more sense. Um, but yeah, drew it from this one right here because this is the lowest point uh, in this base. Coming right back to that area. Uh, again, I love that this product and trade ideas, I can just click on it. You see, as I click on things, it just draws the anchored view app in for me. So I don't really need to guess, right? I can just say, okay, show me all the things nearing an anchored view app pullback. And then I can just click through them and it does that for me. Pins, we bought some pins uh, today as well. So, all right, guys, thank you very much for coming by. I appreciate it. If you can, you know, like, share, comment, all of those things, those are greatly appreciated. And I will talk to you soon.